people coming in from out of town may not know what they are getting themselves yes. into for the weather at Golden Gate Park. So let's take a look at the forecast for the three days of outside lands and foggest weather still in full effect tomorrow. Mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. We are going to see a little bit of clearing Saturday, slightly warmer temperatures, and then are the cloudy skies on Sunday. So more and more sunshine throughout the three days of outside lands, but stead steadily warmer temperatures or less cool temperatures, I guess would be the way to phrase it up into the mid 60s by Sunday. Looking outside right now from the top of the mark and the drizzle is already accumulating on the camera lens. The fog is being aggressive this evening. It is going to spread across the Bay Area, some patches of drizzle, even a few sprinkles trying to sneak up from the south. We'll check on that in just a second. One more mild day tomorrow. Temperatures running slightly below average and then a warming trend over the weekend. The passing clouds associated with the remnants of Eugene and former tropical system still going to be with us over the weekend, but gradually the low cloud cover and fog will be less of a factor. So better viewing conditions for the Perseid meteor shower by Saturday night and Sunday night, if that is on your particular agenda. Let's take a look at future cast and there's that shower activity trying to make a run towards us from the south. This forecast model is the one that tends to give a little bit crazy for any rain chances this time of year. So I doubt that we're going to see anything more than a few passing sprinkles this is the wettest case scenario. A few showers running through the southern half of the Bay Area, and that's going to be about it. We're going to see some passing clouds as we head through the rest of the day, even once the fog backs up to the coast. Similar conditions Saturday and Sunday. You may notice just a little bit of extra moisture in the air in the form of humidity, but it is going to be far from muggy, not something that we're really going to have to worry about. But temperatures are still going to warm up. For Livermore, you're going to be climbing the roller coaster over the next few days. One more day in the lower half of the 80s. Then you're up to the low 90s on Saturday and a few straight days in the mid to upper 90s. Not the extreme heat that we've had during these bursts earlier in the summer, but this is going to last a little bit longer through most of next week before we retreat to slightly below average temperatures again for the third weekend in August. There is the fog and you can see why we're not using our Salesforce tower camera. It is fogged in temperature downtown still registering at 64 degrees. I bet that number is going to be a lot lower when we get the six o'clock update temperatures inland, mostly low 80s down to 75 degrees right now, though, in Santa Rosa already starting to cool off. The fog is going to be pretty widespread to start tomorrow morning. Again, less of a factor by the time the weekend rolls around, but it is going to back up out of those inland valleys pretty quickly, retreating to the coast by midday, but another day where you're going to be grayed in along the coast. A little more sunshine in store, especially by the second half of the weekend there. Temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s for most of us tomorrow morning. Highs tomorrow, still just a little below average, still low 60s along the coast. Mostly 70s down the peninsula and around the south end of the bay. I think Redwood City is going to be somewhere around 72 as opposed to 62 degrees. Temperatures will climb up a little bit farther into the 80s in the Santa Clara Valley. A mix of 70s and 80s inland of the East Bay. Temperature in San Francisco, mid 60s. We can handle that near 70 for Oakland and mostly 70s for the North Bay until you go farther north where it's always just a little bit warmer. Temperatures will stay near 70 degrees in San Francisco once we warm up. That's not a bad place to be. It is the mid to upper 70s. That's where Oakland hovers next week. While it will be toasty but not ridiculous inland, mid to upper 80s for the North Bay and the Santa Clara Valley most of next week. Inland in the East Bay, you'll be back to the 90s, but along the coast, other than some additional sunshine, not much change. Just staying in the 60s.